Florence is one of the most beautiful cities in Italy and is the capital of Tuscany, one of the most beautiful regions of the country. Its name is closely tied to that of the Medici. The omnipresence of this rich Tuscan family that reigned supreme throughout the entire Renaissance enabled a clear evolution of the city on the economic, political, and of course, cultural levels. In this regard, the city had no shortage of important personalities in this key period in the history of art. Few places in the world can boast of having produced so many artists like Giotto, Michelangelo, Botticelli, Dante, and Machiavelli. Birthplace of the Renaissance in Italy, Florence has a great artistic richness with its churches, palaces, and museums. And by jealously preserving all the attractions of its rich past, it is now the worldwide capital of art, single-handedly possessing 25% of the artworks in the world. The Ponte Vecchio, or Old Bridge, is a symbol of the city. The Saris Corridor above the bridge was added in 1565. Thanks to it, the Medicis could move about without danger, thus without escort, between their palace and the different sites of government, like the Uffizi Gallery located on the Arno River. This old ensemble of offices forms a row lined with two long buildings which meet in a two-story gallery. The Tribuna of the Uffizi is one of the halls that was devoted to exhibiting the artwork of the Medici collection prior to its opening to the public 200 years later. Today, with its 8,000 square meters, the Uffizi Gallery contains the most beautiful collection of Italian paintings and artworks of all the great European Renaissance masters. The first halls exhibit Italian primitives and works from the first Renaissance, like this Virgin with Child by Giotto, painted in 1302 and drawing on Byzantine iconography to humanize the figures represented. This altarpiece of the Annunciation, given by Gabriel to Mary, was designed by Simone Martini in 1333 in Gothic style. Giottino's masterpiece displayed here is certainly the Pieta. Painted around 1350, it excels in the representation of feelings. This famous altarpiece by Gentile de Fabriano, representing the Adoration of the Magi, dates back to 1423. The profusion of gold and the lapis lazuli pigment used for the Virgin's coat revealed the international Gothic style which was still very present in the early 15th century. The two portraits of the Duke and Duchess of Urbino, painted by Piero della Francesca around 1480, originally made up a single painting. Using a very sober and geometric style, the artist was a pillar of the Italian Renaissance. The composition of the Santa Lucia altarpiece painted by Domenico Veneziano is characterized by a very studied use of lighting and demonstrates the mastery of perspective. Paintings by the great Renaissance masters like Botticelli's, Primavera can be seen in the gallery's collection. It is an allegorical painting made on wooden panels around 1480. Beside the main character, Venus, Flora, in her delicately flowered dress, is the goddess of spring. Botticelli represented himself on the lower right in his adoration of the Magi. This painting by Domenico Girlandaio represents Saint Zenobius, the patron of Florence, kneeling on the right before the Virgin in majesty. Foreign painters are also on display. Roger van der Weyden, a primitive Flemish painter, came to Florence in 1450.
In this scene of adoration painted in 1504, the German painter Albrecht Dürer rivals the skill of Italian painting in the art of perspective. He represented himself in the form of the youngest of the three magi. The Madonna of the Goldfinch is one of Raphael's early paintings dating from the time of his stay in Florence. Its title is due to the bird represented in the painting. The Uffizi Gallery contains one of the greatest masterpieces of the Renaissance, the Venus of Urbino created by Titian in 1538, the peak of sensuality. In this hall, the painting that is considered as one of the most representative paintings of Italian mannerism is certainly the Madonna with a Long Neck by Parmigianino. Today, Artemisia Gentileschi is considered as one of the first Baroque painters. She established herself with her artwork at a time when female painters were not easily accepted. In the same period, Andrea del Sarto painted an altarpiece of the Madonna of the Harpies. This woman who watches us without seeing us, who does not reveal her thoughts, was painted by Agnolo Bronzino around 1540. Caravaggio is, of course, on display at the Uffizi, with his Bacchus painted in the late 16th century in his youth. Another work by a young painter, The Annunciation by Leonardo da Vinci, was painted in 1475 when he was 20 years old. It is one of the rare paintings by the master of masters that exist today. As can be seen, the Uffizi Gallery is a must-see for art enthusiasts. Just like Florence itself, a destination of choice for those who enjoy history and monuments. <laughs>